Hello guys, I'm Sarah from 190, welcome back to my channel. Today I'd like to show you guys my version 2 of Space Invaders. Uh, you might have seen my previous tutorial, I suggest you watch that first. And we'll expand on that and I'll show you the updated version if you'd like to build it. I'll show you guys pretty much how it's done. Reset score button, and we have a start game button, and we have a level enhancement button. We also have a pressure plate here that gives you your um, bow and arrow as well. So let's try this out. So let's start the game. And uh, there we go, it started up. Hang on a second, there's something totally wrong with this. Uh, there should be a lot more of those. Hang on, there's... Well anyway, so here is a pressure plate with two dispensers either side with carpet on top. And they will shoot up one arrow and one bow. Hang on, what is wrong with it? Hang on a second. Uh, he's the culprit right here. This redstone piece, uh, I accidentally broke it when I was covering up the mess. Oh my god, I'm sorry about that, but I'll fix that real quick. As you can see, it just connects very, very simple. This build is very simple. It took me a while to get it this simple. I had very complex versions of this, but anyway, let's have a look and see how this thing works. There we go, that looks much better. Okay, so let's um, get our bow and arrow out, and let us I'll show you guys how it works. It's really fun. So yeah, let's play some Space Invaders. And you just gotta get your timing right and your focus. And yeah, you can get it. It's very, very... Well, there we go, guys. I've actually gotten really good at aiming this thing because of this game. There we go, and another one. It's all about timing and reflexes. And, oh wow, this is so fun, guys. This is so cool. Look at the points. I now have a point system as well, so when you kill one of the aliens, you'll see it burst into blood, just like usual. And you collect those, um, you collect the stacks at the end. After a minute, the game should automatically turn off, so let's just turn it off real quick. But after a minute, you collect what you've killed. And you can count, literally, how many you've, uh, how many points you've got. So I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine. Okay, so I've got nine stacks, so I got a score. Oh, ten. I got a ten score in a minute. There we go, guys. It is very, very competitive, and uh, it is a working mini game. It fully, it's just amazing, guys. It was a lot more complex than this a few hours ago. I've been working on this all day, guys. That's why I haven't had a video out. But um, yeah, it was heaps complex. I had water streams. I had millions of hoppers, but I got rid of all of that. It's basically exactly the same as the first tutorial. Um, it's exactly the same, but now you can see I add the score back into this chest and that resets the score. Okay, so when I click this button, I have a cart with a hopper in it on a track going over the hoppers that replenish every single one of those carts and chests as you can see there. And I've replaced the stands and chests with carts and chests, that's the other thing. Here is a level increase, so every time I press this button here, it's going to send another cart with a hopper in it that is filled up from this chest with carts and chests if that makes any sense which will go down hoppers into dispensers right under the pistons like just like in the first tutorial where the pistons are underneath the pistons are dispensers that will replenish the game as you can see they all have three once more and I can change the level if I press this button once let's turn the game off first so if let's fill this up again Make sure it's always full. I kind of forgot to do that. I'm trying to make this tutorial as quick as possible, and I didn't have time for the tutorial, so I have to just show you guys how it's put together. And if you guys are smart, I'm pretty sure you can redo this whole thing yourselves. It's very easy. So I've pressed this button three times. So the carton hopper is now replenished three times. So let's reset the score. So that's filling up the score blocks again, the red blocks. And now start the game. As you can see, I now have four aliens on each row. So that's how you do it. So that's a harder level. Um, you get less time. guys. 
guys. So I hope you appreciate this. So let's turn it off. Um, as you can see over here, oh, I've turned it back on obviously. But over here you can see is the sound system. Okay, this is very easy to build, guys. It's self-explanatory. Basically, it's set up with a timer hopper device. Um, and I'll show you how that works. So basically, I have two hoppers attached to each other. And inside those two hoppers is one block of choice. And on the end of that hopper, you'll see I've got a bit of redstone on the top there. That will activate on and off. And I'll show you how that's the second step. So the first step is these two hoppers together with a comparator sticking out with a repeater and then connect it up simply to your sound device. And you guys can be creative and do your own sound device. The one I got there is painted. Da -da. Um, so yeah, you can't pattern it now. So I turn that off just for now because it's annoying. Okay, so how does the game tell this device when to start counting? Well, I'll show you. See that piston? It's connected all the way to the start game switch. So when I switch it on, it will send power all the way out. Turns all the way through. The repeaters simply keep the charge into the... So when it detracts, it will simply turn the timer on from that redstone piece. Uh, it will actually pause it. There we go. So it will turn it on and off based on when you turn the game on and off. And it will simply just make random music sounds to mimic Space Invaders. Um, I just slapped them randomly. I'm sure you guys could come up with a better sound than me. So the other way it connects is it comes all the way around here and it actually goes in the start game signal goes into the back of every single dispenser which has a piston on top of those just like in the first tutorial. So you might have to refer to the first tutorial about where those pistons are and what they're doing because it's built exactly the same. The only difference are the hoppers that I've placed in between them to push uh, to put the stuff into the dispensers, okay? Which would be either to replenish the aliens or to put the score back into the chest. Which I was using redstone blocks for the effect of blurred or whatever effect you might want. You might want blue blocks or something like that or green slime blocks or something cool. It's totally up to you guys. But I do recommend you keep them all uniformed because they do get mixed up. Okay, so let's turn the game off. And what happens here, you see the pistons retract and the power from the dispensers turns the tracks off as well. So the tracks are now turned off on this side, but on the left side of the game you can see they're still moving because the tracks are always turned on. But eventually, there's too many in here because I've put too many levels. So simply get rid of one. I accidentally pressed it too many times, the level system. But you should see what happens here is that uh, these ones left over that are still moving will slowly uh, push the other ones into place over time. As you can see, they're slowly moving. Once they get into position, these ones here will stop. Here we go, watch this, ready? Done. So that's like the end of the game, right? So it's the same as the first tutorial, it's just that instead of using stands in a cart, I'm using chests in a cart. And underneath every dispenser, I've put... Oh, I mean, underneath every uh, piston, I've put a dispenser. And those dispensers are connected to hoppers, which are connected to that chest, and so on and so on. So that's pretty much it. And you can see above those chests in the cart right now is a hopper, and they're replenishing the score. And this dispenser will hold all of the other carts. So you can do this very easily. You can see these hoppers are just going up onto this track, and they come down into the dispenser, giving you a cart and chest to replenish. That's the health. I mean, that's the... um the level button that I was telling you guys about. Now on top is a chest that when you throw everything into there it goes into that cart which is a hopper in a cart. Okay so whoops wrong one so let's get some more mine carts chest put them in it goes into that and then that will put it into the hoppers where did it go it's already gone into the hopper all the way down into this dispenser so there we go so when I press this, it will replenish it once, and it will stop. The reason why it stops is because this, uh, the whole track is powered all the way to the end. The last part of the track behind this block is not powered until you press that button, and then it powers it and it moves. So you can see right here it's not powered, see? And the rest are powered rails. Okay. So when these carts fill up, uh, it would actually pass them on to the next 
believe it or not, that's actually crazy, guys. I, I this is really weird. So if I get some redstone blocks, uh, what is this one doing? Okay, oh, I've moved it. Okay, so when it's underneath the hopper, that hopper will fill this cart up with redstone blocks. But when that cart's full, it will automatically start trickling down to the next cart, all the way to the last cart. I had no idea it did this, guys, but it does. It's, it's amazing. So I use that to my advantage. So basically, it is now just uh, pooping them out all the way to the last one. And that is amazing. So if you can see how this works, guys, pretty sure you can do your own version very easily, especially if you watch the first tutorial on how this is actually done. You shouldn't have any troubles whatsoever. So you can see here that's not powered, that one there. And the one under that one's not powered either. So when I flick the lever, then it will move back and forwards, replenishing the redstone. So that's simple. So that's what this is for. You can leave it on, but it makes a terrible noise. I hate the the track noise. It kind of gets in the way of the music. I wish there was an option for it, but there, I don't know, maybe. I haven't seen one yet, so. Oh yeah, and don't forget to like and subscribe, guys, because it really does help. Oh wow, did you hear that? It's my stomach rumbling. Must be lunchtime. Alright, well, well we got a few minutes to go to show you the rest of this contraption, so um, either watch the the first tutorial and you don't need to watch the rest of this, or stick around and if you're clever you won't need to watch the other one either, you can just sort of see what I'm doing here. So I've got powered rails, one, two, three, four, and then I've got a redstone block, one more power rail, activator rail, oh pressure rail sorry, because I had a music block there, but don't worry about that. But anyway, it gets to here and you can see I'm using a, a regular rail at the end and that has no power, so the carts eventually stop. And that's it. Pretty simple. Pretty simple. And yet it has such an amazing effect. I've put carpet above the rails here, so that when the cart and chest comes underneath, you can see that it will just sort of be a, a black square and it'll just go back and forwards. And when you hit it with a bow and arrow, it actually explodes. And look at that, I've just collected all of the blocks of redstone, and it will stay on the top. I used to have rivers and streams and hoppers trying to collect all this stuff, and I had crazy, crazy complex contraptions going on. Oh my god, and in the end, I just threw it all out, guys, and I just, pff, just did it simply, guys. So I really appreciate you guys watching this. I hope this helps you and you can have a lot of fun playing Sp Space Invaders. You know what? Stuff it. Go and get Space Invaders and download it and play that because it's a, it's a lot better than this. But nonetheless, if you want some target practice and you actually, uh, you're actually going in competition and you have rivalries and you want to hit people with arrows, this will sharpen your technique. Look at that. It's amazing. Oh, it is. No, you know what? This is better than Space Invaders, I think. Just a little bit. Um, maybe, maybe, I don't know, they're both pretty good, but, um, yeah, guys, I'm Sir from 190, please share this video, it helps me, and I can, uh, make more content for you guys, and, uh, I'll probably see you guys tomorrow, I'm not sure. I have a lot of things to do. No, I don't. No, I'll see you guys tomorrow. I got nothing to do. I got nothing. Alright, well, this, I'm home now, so I'll go. Sir from 190, see you guys tomorrow.